Welcome back guys, this is Seha Man back with another Predator figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, NECA, this is the Series 2 from the Predator 2 series. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Guardian Predator. It's got a nice um, um, mask there. This is actually looks like the re-release of that Comic Con exclusive that they had, which was the original Predator just with a different uh, mask. I forgot what the name was. Gort Predator? Totally forgot what the name was, my mind just went blank right now. But at the bottom here, you got a picture of um, the Predator. Over 25 points of articulation, includes extended spear accessory and a throwing disc. The spear, uh, you can see it's kind of in the back. I don't know if you're going to see in the packaging, but it's a pretty long spear. But the figure looks really, really nice in the packaging. Uh, in the back, other figures from the series. There's the other three Predators. Uh, there's the picture of the Predator there, Guardian Predator. Aliases, yeah, there it is, Gort. So there's Gort, uh, weapons, throwing disc, wrist blades, combi stick, laser cannon. The Lost Hunters, a clan shrouded in mystery, travelers of both time and space. The Predators exist to hunt, and they adhere to a strict code of honor where defeat is equal to death. So packaging is similar to all the other Predators that we've received, but this Predator looks really, really nice. So we're going to take the Predator out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here we have the Guardian Predator outside of packaging, otherwise known as Gort. Um, I have one major problem with this figure. Even though this figure is very nice, the helmet and, and um, the paint scheme on this guy is done very well. I have one major problem, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, first thing first, the, the mask was used on the uh, Comic-Con exclusive Gort Predator, which was the uh, what the Predator in the first film was supposed to look like. But it's just a... Uh, we're using him. We're getting him now on this figure. But um, he does come with a extended uh, staff or combi stick that we got from the two packs. Same thing. So this is the long version. Look at that up close. So he, we do get another one of these, which is great because I broke my other one. They break very easy, so careful with these things. And um, he also comes with a throwing disc. So those are the accessories he comes with. Now... What I want to get into about this figure, the problem that I have, I was going over the articulation and uh, I did a little bend at the knee and look at his knee went inwards. I have no idea how the hell that happened. But you can see the knees for going inwards and if you bend it, it bends outwards. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to try to fix it. Maybe I need a little rotation in the leg or something. I have no idea. But I don't want to force it too much because I don't want to break it. So that's something to be careful when you're going over the articulation. But the leg just somehow went inwards. Um, but going into the, uh, the the figure, I mean the figure itself. See, I'm having trouble standing him now because of that. Is really nice. Um, if you look at the head sculpt, I love the way they did the paint on the mask. It has this like bronze kind of color. It's really really nice. The detailing in that is just great. Love the black, the black eyes. And the paint scheme is just very nice. Again, he comes with his little sack with a bunch of little, you know, whatever he carries in there. He's got bones, made out of bones. He's got a rope around the shoulder there. He's got nice little armor. He's got that bent freaking knee. Nice detailing in the feet. This one has the retractable claws. This one also has the, uh, the laser cannon right there. But the heads, the, the, the freaking mask I love on this figure. I think it's just really, really nice. We'll set the camera down. We'll get another close look at him. Paint scheme is done very, very well. Again, he has the netting just like the other figures. He's got the uh, throwing disc uh, holder there. Holster, whatever you want to call it. But look at the paint on this. Just done really, really nice. The detailing on the feet is just great. The uh, claws here, they are retractable. They go in and out, just like the other Predators. Articulation is the same as the other Predators as well. Love this figure. This figure is nice. So far, I don't know which is the favorite out of the two that I've reviewed so far. This one or the Snake Predator. we still got one more Predator re to review from the series. And then I'll let you guys know which one is my favorite. But just really, really nice. Little skirt part. Got the rope right here with the little sack. Made out of bones. Little shoulder armor. There's the cannon which does have articulation. It can go side to side. 
I can go forward and back. He's got shoulder armor up here, soft rubber. Detailing in the back is, is done very, very well. I love how that looks right there on the skin. The skin looks really, really nice. And all the detailing right here on the arm is done very well. You can see the dreads here again, soft rubber. You can see some of this, the top of the skin from the helmet. But look at the helmet, it's just so freaking nice. Take a look at the legs again. This thing is pissing me off that it's bent inwards. I'm sure I can fix it though. This is just a nice Predator. Series 2 is, is awesome. Series 2 is awesome so far. Very, very happy. A lot of people um, left me message, messages when I did my haul video and didn't know that these figures were out. You know what? I didn't even know they were out. I had just gone to Frank and Sons and um, I, saw, I saw a seller having, had them for sale and I was like, dude, let me take them. I didn't pick up the uh, third Predator and everybody was leaving me messages on uh, why I didn't pick it up. That's the one that everyone, everyone's looking for. But you know what? I ended up picking them up so I have all three now. So I'd be expecting reviews on all of them. I was I was gonna pick him up eventually, but he just didn't catch my eye for some reason. But this predator here is just very, very nice. Get another close up. Articulation's gonna be the same. Got that new articulation. You know, the head goes up and down, can rotate side to side, arms in and out, forward back, bends at the elbow. Uh, you know, the wrist is like on a ball joint, legs go in and out, forward and back. I'm not gonna bend the knees because of what happened here. The legs, the foot can go up and down, you know, side to side, all that good stuff. But he is a great figure, and I highly, highly, highly recommend him. The um, paint scheme on, on these figures, the uh, detailing is just superb. NECA is doing, does a great job with their Predator figures. The only thing I wish, you know, they had was their little control panel that opened up. That would have been great. So again, he comes with a uh, extended uh, staff and a throwing disc. Okay guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Today we were looking at the NECA Series 2 Predators, Predator 2, and this is um, the Guardian Predator. Alright guys, stay tuned. There's more on the way.